Wonderful. You know Iran is famous for all its meals. They're so delicious. But what makes them so delicious from the very beginning? I'll tell you what it is. It's the ABCs, the spices. And that's something that we're going to be looking at today. The rich and delicious taste of the meals in Iran would not be possible without the magical spices that are added during the process of cooking. The person in charge of what goes on in the kitchen at home would buy a selection of spices from a shop like this in order to prepare their recipes. پرفروشترین ادویه ما زردچوبه هستش و بعد از اون فلفل به دلیل اینکه زردچوبه و فلفل یه طبیعتی داره که اون بوی زخم و بوی بعد غذا گوشت و ماهی و مرغ رو میگیره و یه عطر خوبی به غذا میده این از قدیم الایام ادویه برای این توی غذا استفاده میشده که حالت بالانس بکنه طبیعت غذا رو اگر غذای سرد هستش رو به گرمی بده یا اگر گرم رو به سردی It's not only the taste that spices play a big role in. One can also look into the health benefits that come with them. Turmeric, for example, has been used in Asia for thousands of years. Due to its distinctive color, it was first used as a dye and later on became a major part of medical properties. Well, let's not forget the most expensive spice in the world. saffron which is used in many Iranian cuisines and it's delicious. Iran is proud to account for approximately 90% of the world's production of saffron. This super ingredient is among the most expensive of spices by weight on the face of the earth. Its recorded history goes all the way back to the 7th century BC in the ancient Near East. Sumak is a must-have if you want to enjoy a typical Persian kebab to the fullest. It gives you that unique tangy taste as well as countering the grease and fat that we digest. Personally, this is why kebab kubide has become my favorite meal of all time. With all this delightful Persian hospitality comes a very traditional dish known as kebab kubide. And never forget the sumak, which gives it that slightly tangy taste. شما هم که خوب یه جزء لایمفک که چلو کبابه حتی امروزه می‌بینید در هر جای ایران که یه چلو کبابی که مثلا منزل شما بزن یه بسته کوچولو شما هم کنارشه چون شما می‌دونید که گوشت خودش یک مقدار اسیدوری کینا تولید می‌کرده این ضد اسیدوری که آنتی اکسیدانه و خیلی مسائل دیگه که برای نقرس و اینا و به خصوص تعم دهنده خوبی هم هست Here is an example, a typical meal for the average Iranian family. It is named lubia polo. The dish is made up of lamb, rice, beans, fried onions, and of course, the essential spice that goes with it, saffron. I don't recommend sticking around to watch something like this cook because it will make your mouth water big time. بیشتر ادبی که در ایران به کار میره زرچوبه هستش، گل گلاب، زعفران و انواع فلفل سبز و فلفل سیاه که بهترین نوعش در ایران تولید میشه. Well, this is a very typical Iranian meal that families usually have. It's called lubia polo. It's being prepared right here. And this lady is about to add the very delicious spices. No wonder it's so delicious. Professional cooks in Iran are indeed very careful as to the timing of adding the spices. In a dish like lubia polo, the saffron is liquefied and mixed into the rice during the cooking process, which gives it that rich scent and golden look. To cut a long story short, this is the finish that comes with a special Shirazi salad. Yum yum! I'm Samson Seas for Iran. <laughs>